Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and welcome back to another squad builder. And I hadn't planned to be doing this video but I decided to rip up the team and start again. That's basically because this week I'm playing squad battle solo for the first time. Fortunately my co-op partner uh, has got COVID at the moment. So yeah, I had uh, made a decision to play on my own on Ultimate. So I changed the team up. I thought I would share it with you guys because there's a couple of them. That I've put in the absolute superstars. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It's four million coins all in all. Um, which considering I did one about three weeks ago. And it was four million coins. So it just shows doesn't it. Once you get to a certain point. It's hard to um, increase the value of your team. Because stuff depreciates doesn't it. So th there we go. Right. There we go. There's the stacked bench. We'll go on to that probably a little bit later. But I didn't even bother with this so Allison in goal he's always been in goal every single team I've had 756 appearances it's gonna be a while before I change that I've gotta be honest anyway right if you remember beforehand team that I had was like the Atals, Sanchez, Messi, Neymar, Benyeda those sort of players like League One uh, League One sorry um, orientated gone back more Premier League sort of thing now so in it right back I've got the Rule Bakers, Trent, who um, I consider to be one of the best right backs in the game. I'm not sure many of you would agree with that. I don't know, but um, I've used him a lot over the course of this FIFA and love him, to be quite honest with you. So I was well happy to get him back in, particularly as that allows me to have a towel as a super sub. And especially for squad battles, he's absolutely amazing to have as a super sub. So there we go. Right. In at centre half, it's the same old story. It's that partnership of Blanc and Marquinhos. As you may or may not remember, a few months ago I spent a lot of coins on these two and I said that they were here to stay for the foreseeable future, along with the left back, which is Renan Lodi. So, familiar ish back line, we've just added uh, Trent to it. And we'll continue that familiar theme for the minute with Fred. But, then, in the other two midfield slots, which considering that I play a 4-2-3-1 in-game, I'll show you how it works in a minute, we've picked up this wildcard Fabinho, who is a ledge. Renato Sanchez is phenomenal, right? I don't want to get that mixed up. He is the bee's knees, Renato Sanchez. But, Fabinho also as a different kind of option if you're building a slightly different team is phenomenal so so good so four star four star high medium work rates which is fine he's six foot two which means he wins those battles for you which is great a little bit Vieira ish pace wise absolutely spot on so with a shadow is 99 acceleration um and uh, 95 sprint speed. Shooting is very good. Because this card comes out as a centre forward. So it's, he's got very good shooting. Passing. 92 short pass. 87 long pass. Absolutely no problems with that. And for a big guy. that Those dribbling stats are absolutely spot on. 89 agility. 88 balance. 94 composure. list goes on. With a shadow. Obviously that puts his defending stats right up to where you want them to be if you was going to play somebody as a CDM or even as a central midfielder they're absolutely fine but considering that he's got decent strength and his frame the defending is more than good enough way more than good enough and physically he's a he's a beast because of his size and decent strength aggressions maybe slightly on the low side but that physique more than makes up for it Okay, so we have Fred and Fabinho in the CDMs. And then as our cam, which I'll show you how it actually lines up properly at the end of the video. But we have got another wild card, winter wild card. And that is this guy, Lucas Moura. Who, for me, is the star man of this team. I was, I thought that he'd be decent, but I'm shocked how good he is. Um, so we'll go through that. Obviously, where he's quite short. He's very, very nimble, and he's got that lean body type, um, which is fantastic. 
These are squad battles games, those 15 games. They are against Ultimate, solo. And he's got 16 goals, 15 assists, which is pretty decent. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. And there we go, the attributes. Pace, absolutely electric. Um, with a dead eye, his finishing is 90, 99. Attack positioning, um, at 98 finishing. And maxed out shot, but like pff, it's just everything, everything. And with the dead eye, it puts his uh, short pass up to his maxed out as well. Then agility and balance, 97 and 97, dribbling 94, and the composure is okay as well. That's normally what lets Lucas down. Uh, 87 stamina, he's even got 96 jumping, so he's you know he's gonna fight for you as well. Um, really good, love him, love him to bits. Right, striker. You probably would have seen it. We won for a wild card Martial, who I was particularly looking forward to using. Um, but the fact of the matter is that Lucas has upstaged him. But when you look at him, we'll go all the way through again. So six foot. So um, to be honest, I don't really like big strikers. Um, I want that low sensor to so low center of gravity. And actually, you can see from his stats compared to Lucas's. Um, they're not that great. Lucas got 15 goals and 15 assists in 15 games. Martial's just got the 10 goals. But anyway, he still seems quite good. That weak foot, five-star weak foot, very happy with that. Um, Attribute-wise, you know, is very good. Decent shoots, good shooting, very good shooting. Maxed out pace, uh, very good dribbling. You know, is what it says on the tin, to be quite honest. He's been decent. Right, right wing. It's a player that I've really loved this FIFA. And it's a red pick. So nice to have a red pick in your team. It makes it feel like it was all worthwhile. And that's uh, Raheem the Dream Sterling. <clears throat> and I absolutely love this card. Really, really do. Um, it's just the speed and like the agility and balance. And I just love players that just feel really, really nippy. Then, on the left, this won't surprise you, although I did run out of coins a little bit, so my options were limited, but I've got our old boy, uh, Hugh Min Son. Who, it does need upgrading. That gold version of Son doesn't quite, isn't quite of as good as he was, but, you know, I still like him an awful lot. And to be honest, his goals, he scored nine goals in 15 games, and Martial's got 10. Martial's worth about 600, 700k, Son's worth about 30, so there we go. In terms of subs, <clears throat> I always bring Davis and Tau on at CDM, and then I might bring Ronaldinho on, who we pulled out of the um, out of the mid-icon pack. Um, so yeah, lots of options. Quickly show you how that works in game, in case that was confusing you. <clears throat> I'm not here to show you tactics. That's the formation and how it, it works. Oh, there we go. Four, two, three, one. Fred and Fabinho, uh, CDMs, Mora at Cam, Sterling and Son on the wings, Martial up front, and the usual back four. So, guys, there we go. New team. Loving it to be. It's quite refreshing to play with a different team. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, let me know who you're using. If you're using different players, let us know because it does make it a little bit more fun. That's all I'm going to say. So, I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.